Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the greatest rivalries in college football history. Mighty Duck of Anaheim is your host as we got the Red River Rivalry Showdown between the number three ranked Texas Longhorns and the number 12 ranked Oklahoma Sooners. Both teams 5-0. and As time is winding down, last year the Texas Longhorns steamrolled their way in a dominating 49 to nothing Red River rivalry win. That was the longest, or I should say the biggest blowout in years. I mean, that was just unbelievable. They just shut him out and just dominated that whole game. And oh boy, we got a Sooner player down. Uh, what, 235 to go. Texas Longhorns were getting hate, a bunch of heat this past um, off season. And people thought, oh, Texas is already they ain't ready. And they're 5-0. and they're, I mean, they had a big win against Alabama. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. When they defeated Alabama in the final seconds of that one. But Texas hasn't been ranked top three that high since 2009. Oklahoma Sooners had a rough season last year. Yeah, they ended up winning some games. But they had a rough season last year, and now they're trying to prove, hey, last year we were young, we had a new coach, we got destroyed 49 nothing. it's time to make a change. The total yards in the fourth quarter, 147 yards for Texas and 77 yards for the Oklahoma Sooners with 235 to go. American League Division Series, Game 1, Texas Rangers leading the Baltimore Orioles 2-1, to the one, end of the fourth. Twins Astros... Game one, 4.45 Eastern Time. Here we go. Sooner fans on their feet. Longhorn fans on their feet. Oh, they're going to fake. Oh, hey, oh. Ewers goes down. And he's going to be sacked, so it's second down and 13. Hope you guys enjoy last night's video of some NFL trades, as well as rest in peace. Uh, prayers to his family, Dick Buckus, legendary Bears linebacker, one of the greatest linebackers in NFL history as well. Here we go. Almost two minutes to go. Ewers, the, oh, what a play. Nice play and tripped up inside. It was pretty close. So it's third down for the Longhorns. Diamondbacks, Dodgers, Division Series. They're going to have to get in field goal range in order to win this game. It's third and nine. They already made some fourth downs. They missed the fourth down on the goal line. Here we go. Third and nine. Uh, some confusion. Timeout. Who called timeout? Oh, second timeout, Oklahoma Sooners. Also, too, is tomorrow, early in the morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, we got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars in London. Jaguars already got a dub in London against the Atlanta Falcons, 23-7 to last week. So, Georgia will play Kentucky, 7 Eastern. Um, LSU and Missouri is having themselves a good game in the SEC. They're in the top 20, but both teams in a high-scoring game. Now, a couple of years ago, it was, it was Cameron Dicker. In the great words of Gus Johnson, Dicker the tick kicker. Notre Dame, Louisville. Louisville trying to continue their magical run. Notre Dame, after a huge win, a comeback win over Duke. Syracuse, North Carolina, just kicked off. Texas fans holding, hooking them horns. You don't down them horns. You don't want to do that. Oklahoma's coach did that. You don't want to, you don't want to, you know, let's put it this way. You don't want to make them mad. Oh, a run. And he got, the, is there a good field goal range? So it's fourth down. Final timeout for the Sooners. Oh boy, it's 122 to go. They're going to have to really march down the field and they need a miracle. Well, 
They got plenty of time. What am I saying? You don't need a miracle. 122 to go. You got plenty of time. I mean, it could have been 30 to 20 and then if they made it. But the coach won, go for him, fourth down. I do agree with him. It's a rivalry showdown. You're ranked top three. You're trying to show the proof why you're ranked top three for the first time since 2009. Michigan, Minnesota's taking on each other. Texas, they got some. They got this is probably one one of the toughest matchups this year. One of the toughest matchups this year. It's definitely against OU. Uh, we got a final alert in the Big Ten. The Ohio State Buckeyes took care of business against Maryland Terpets. As the Buckeyes win 37 to 13, having a rough first half, it was tied. And then Ohio State ran away with the game pretty much in the second half. Oh, they're going to go for him. Fourth down. Oh, wait. Are they going to go for it or not? Oh, he's trying to throw him outside. What are you doing, bud? I don't care. It was worth a try, but yeah, to get a first down. So, 122 to go. Fourth down. Number 45. If it gets blocked, that's going to get returned to the house, probably. Hey, you know, Texas, you know, last, I'll say two years ago, they were they went 5-7. and seven. They blew a lot of games. You know, they're up by like 20, and then they blew it. You know, they, they were up like against Kansas. They were up against OU. They blew them games. They went 5-7. and seven. Next year, they went to a bowl game. Here we go. Here we go. Burnt Auburn Jr. made he's two of two, 25 and 45 yards. Here we go. It's a 47 yard. Here we go. The snap, the hole, the kick. It is good. And the Longhorns take a three point lead, but the game's not over. 117 to go. Wow! Yeah, the Longhorns were down by ten. Now they're that, now they're up by three. It's pretty much been so. It was like Sooners, and then the Texas Longhorns tied it. Sooners, Longhorns tied. It. Then they took the lead. And then all right, LSU was leading Missouri forty-two to thirty-nine. A good one. Zero with forty-one seconds to go. Dan Daniels is out of the game for a little bit, but then he came back. Now for OU, they got to go downfield. And get a game winning drive or a game tying drive at least. So Quinn Ewers trying to prove himself that I am a good quarterback. It just takes time. LOU needs a chance. Longhorns defense needs to step up. Here we go. 117 to go. They have no timeouts remaining either. As the wind just freaking just getting the ball everywhere. I mean, this is definitely a historical rivalry. They had some great finishes. 2001, OU won that game in a defensive battle, 7-3. to three. You also had 2000, which OU dominated that series, 63-14. to 14. Oh, that's going to get a touchback. Oh, boy. Oh boy. That's all good. 117 to go. Sooner's got no timeouts remaining. Dylan Gabriel, the senior. He got 110 yards, one touchdown, and 13 rushing yards. So they're going to have to do a lot. Here we go. Gabriel had a little bit of a rough season last year. Oh, here we go. First and ten. 117 to go. Gabriel. Takes the snap. Looking. 
And he's gonna throw and catch first down. Oh you And we got one eleven to go. Time winding down. Gabriel throws and it is caught! Caught! Oh got away from a tackle and first down. And really in Texas territory with one oh two to go. Drew Farouk, wide receiver. Got some good rushing and got some good receiver. Well, look out! Oh, Gabriel got away! He does throw! Why don't Ben who's covering him? Wow! Nobody was covering him! Oh, right in the red zone. 51 seconds to go. Time winding down. Oh, Gabriel in trouble. No, he's going to go deep. Oh. Pass interference. Pass interference on the defense. That's going to be pass interference on the defense. Yep, it will be. All Mac first down. Oh, boy. And yeah, you don't you don't hang on to him, buddy. You're supposed to. Oh man, that may have cost him right there. That's gonna cost him the game right there. Oh, 37-17. My bad. Ohio State beating Maryland, 37-17. My bad. Not 13. Here we go. 42 seconds to go. First and goal. Oh, Gabriel, he's going to run. How did he get in? No, he did not. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to hope that their defense I mean, their defense got to be exhausted. Time winding down here. He's going to throw. Gabriel, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, touchdown. Touchdown. Sooners. Oh my god. Nobody was covering him. Nick Anderson with a three yard reception. Oh my god. Well, 15 seconds left. You're going to have to go down field and make a miracle. Now Texas needs a miracle. Wow. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, we just may have saw. Now Texas needs a miracle. They really need a miracle with 15 seconds left. A snap. It is up, and it is good. It's a four-point game, ladies and gentlemen, with 15 seconds left. Oh, man, Gabriel, man. Wow. Wow. Nobody has them, bro. Nobody, nobody. When they, yeah, Texas was lost. Nobody had them. Wow. Yeah, I don't blame number 28. He was pissed. He's like, damn it. Who had him? Wow. Wow. Last year, Texas dominated. 49 nothing. Oh, you trying to rebound from that. Wow. Here we go. Now 15 seconds left. You know, you fans are hoping to take a deep breath. They had no time left remaining, but they did have plenty of time. Texas, let's put it this way. They let OU have way too much time. Now, here we go. 15 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds left. They're gonna kick it off. And that's going to be a touchback. So 15 seconds to go. 
Here we go. Texas got two timeouts remaining. All right. Inside their own 25. Texas needs a miracle. If they do, they need it now. Here we go. All right. Takes a snap. Yours. He's going to throw. Oh, oh, he's got a man. Oh, he's got he's got to run out of bounds. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my God. First down. Timeout. Texas. All right. Every second counts. Six seconds left. Oh. So six seconds left. Man, oh man, we got ourselves a really good one. This is what this rivalry is all about. You don't really see many blowouts. But you do see, you know, a very close game. And winner of that game will get the Golden Hat Trophy. Last year, Texas got it. The year before, it was Oklahoma. That is a cool looking hat, though. Wow, every one of his teammates. If I was OU fans, I wouldn't be celebrating now. Anything can happen. Texas, they need a miracle fast. Here we go. Ewers takes the snap. Looking, throws, and got a man. Wow, with two seconds left. Are you kidding me? Two seconds left. Final timeout for Texas. Wow. Final timeout. Texas definitely needs a miracle now. They're going to have to air it out downfield. Wow. They're going to have to really throw it downfield. You know, wow, I, I'm just literally speechless right now, ladies and gentlemen. Twins, Astros, two seconds left. Or bronze hat, is it golden or is it bronze? A golden hat, I'm not saying, it's a golden hat, not bronze. Phillies, Braves taking on each other, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Two seconds left. They're going to have to really, they're going to have to hail Mary it. Sooners are back and right up to the end zone because they know they're going to have to go deep. We've seen a lot of crazy games happen. Will there be one today? Viewers in trouble. Throws it in the air. And it is batted down. No! And the Sooners win it! Oklahoma has won it! Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, what a matchup! Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this Red River show, showdown. Final score, Oklahoma Sooners 34, Texas Longhorns 30. What a game. Wow. Congratulations to the Oklahoma Sooners. Texas Longhorns fans, keep your heads up. Y'all will be back. Dylan Gabriel, unbelievable. So, we'll see you on the next one. Mighty Ducks, I know.